Robinson with identifying uh, slides. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen here. It's going to be ecology review. And pull up um, the lesson, just the words from the lesson. There's 17 words here. Um, <clears throat> so I'll kind of go through each word and kind of talk about them. So you guys will, some of them are repeats. Some of the words are repeats from, um, from the lesson, the other lesson that we had identifying the slides. Um, the first one here, apex predator, is going to be the um, predator in a uh, any type of ecosystem that's not being eaten. They're going to be doing the eating. They're going to be the predator that uh, will dominate. Um, <clears throat> they're also known as a, a keystone species because if you remove them, uh, it's like a jaguar. Um, there's a lot of uh, the ecosystem kind of depends on the, the keeping the ecosystem in balance by because the jaguar is going to eat the deer and the deer you know is going to eat a lot of vegetation um, and if you don't have that keystone predator the apex predator okay the deer population is going to increase and you're going to you know too much of the vegetation is going to be eaten away and there's consequences for that so I, I, we never really talked about it but i just saw that word but they're the top predator in a in an ecosystem consumer they're going to be anything that eats that doesn't produces produce its own food um, producer okay also autotroph is another word for producer um, but they make their own food they do photosynthesis plants, anything that uses the sun's energy to make food. First level consumer is it's just what it sounds like. It will consume uh, the producers. So things like deer and typically they're herbivores. Ecosystem, anything, um, it can be either dead or alive uh, ecosystem. Um, can um, be uh, something in a, in a, a, a uh, um, you know, it can be a plant or it could be a rock, um, but they, they interact with each other to make a system. A carbon cycle, can we, this is a repeat, um, it's the process of taking in carbon dioxide Plants take in the carbon dioxide. Plants eventually die. Either they might become fossilized or they might be burned. But at some point, you know, the carbon's returned to the atmosphere and again taken back in through the leaves, kind of going in the constant cycle. Parasitism, again, this is a repeat. Um, a host, you have a, a, a this it's part of symbiosis, and you have the, the um, the parasite will take advantage of its host. It'll, it'll, the parasite will benefit. The host is hurt either you know, by diseases or, uh, or by its, its chances of, of survival are decreased. Mutualism, both again, symbiosis, both animals benefit by each other's presence, the relationship. It's a mutualistic relationship. Omnivore is an animal that eats anything. Okay? It, 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 it eats vegetables as well as meat. Herbivore just eats vegetables. Predator just eats meat. Kind of pretty straightforward. Food chain is one set of relationships from producer to, you know, through different levels of consumer. Um, so you might have a, a plant that's growing and the deer might eat the plant, and then the wolf might eat the deer, and then the um, the wolf, you know, might get um, hunted by the human. So that would be a food chain. Web is all the different potential producers and consumers. It's much more elaborate, much more uh, large scale. 
energy pyramid. Okay, so these different levels. So you start off with the pyramid. The most energy in an energy pyramid is in the lowest with the producers, and at each level you go up into the energy pyramid. You have a decrease in the amount of energy available. So the first level consumers, there's an incredible amount of uh, decrease in the amount of energy available and the amount of energy uh, lost. And each level you go up till you get to the very top predators uh, decreases radically. Uh, seasons caused by the Earth's tilt. Okay, so um, you know we're heading and we're right now we're heading towards the summer solstice, um, but we are you know, the Earth, the sun's rays are traveling further and further north into the northern hemisphere. Um, and they'll, they'll stop on the uh, Tropic of Cancer uh, on June 20th. I believe it's June 20th. Um, but that will be the solstice, and then they'll travel south, head down to the Tropic of Capric Capricorn um, on December 20th. Um, adaptation. Again, this is the process that... Um, Animals go through in order to um, <clears throat> they'll, uh, uh, slow changes over genetic changes over generations to help a species survive. Um, so, again, sometimes they can happen quickly, um, but more often than not, it's just a very gradual process where and, and a, uh, a species will adapt through natural selection um, and they'll be more likely to survive and pass on their traits and these those genes over time change or the, the expression of those genes change and so you will get say like the classic example is the giraffe uh, its neck uh, uh, becoming longer and longer to help you know each you know one next generation Giraffe may have, their neck was a little bit longer, it helped them survive, and the the sibling that didn't have as long of a neck didn't survive, and so over millions of years, um, evolution enables the, uh, the creates the the giraffe. So those um, or the uh, just the different terms that we're going to be talking about um, for this. Uh, you know, for this uh, set of uh, uh, slides and see if you can identify, um, you know, which, I think I'm going to add another one here too. It's abiotic. And um, biotic to the, um, let's do it this way, so slash biotic. It's going to be, it's going to be uh, both terms are going to be in one slide here. So see if that uh, that will help you um, answer the questions um, for this lesson.